Everybody be still, please. Dear Heavenly Father, we want to thank you, Lord, for this day that you have made for us, Lord. I want to ask, Lord, that you please watch over us as we go throughout our day. Please, Lord, bless Pastor Thompson as he prepared the word to give us, Lord. I want to ask you, Lord, to watch over all our friends, relatives, and enemies, if there may be any. And Lord Jesus, just keep us as close to you as possible. And Jesus, us blessings that I ask in Jesus' name that I pray. Amen. This afternoon, our scripture will be coming out of Luke 10, verses 1 and 2. Now after these things the Lord appointed 70 others and sent them to and to before his face into every city and place whither he himself was about to come. And he said unto them, The harvest indeed is plentiful, but the labors are few. Pray ye, therefore the Lord of the harvest, that he sent forth laborers into his harvest. That's our scripture for today.
Wonderful name of Jesus. Oh, bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Oh, bless that wonderful name of Jesus. No other name I know. Oh, bless that wonderful name of Jesus. I bless that wonderful name. afternoon. We have come to give God praise today for 
what he is doing in our church. And thank God we have two candidates, amen, for baptism. We thank God, amen. Octavia Rogers, Sister Rogers, All right? In obedience to the great command of God, and upon your profession of faith, my little sister, we baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank God for young people who's giving their life to God. Y'all ain't noise enough. But thank God for young people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right, little sister Linton. All right. In obedience to the great command of God, and upon your profession of faith, my little sister, we baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. And when Jesus would touch the life of any individual, he would say, go and sin no more. Are you glad to be here and be alive and well on this second Sunday in this year? God is faithful. I say God is faithful on this Sunday where we are about to set aside seven men of good report. Come on, praise God for seven men of good report. Seven men, seven men of good report, and we thank God for each and every one of them. They are already dynamic men, amen, and their wives. And so we thank God for you that are here uh, to witness this, uh, this ceremony, and we thank God for uh, the visitors, and we'll say more about you later. The choir is coming. We're going to lead us in... Uh, uh, Worship at this time and give them a hand as they come.
gonna bless God this morning. You can't lift them up. I don't care how I lift them up by myself. Because I know he's been good. This next song says that he is exalted. God is exalted. Forever his truth shall reign. Heaven and earth will exalt his holy name. Oh, here my favorite part. Here we go, here we go. Say hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We give him glory, give you glory. We give him honor, give you honor. We give you praise, give you praise. We give you praise. And we adore you. We adore you. No one's above you. No one's above you. No one's before you. No one's before you. We give you glory. We give you glory.
You ought to give them glory. So you ought to give them glory for all that he has done. Y'all missed that. I said all that he has done. 
Wait a minute, wait a minute. These deacons candidates ought to praise God because some folk thought y'all wasn't gonna make it. Some folk said y'all wasn't good enough. But when you think about where you've been and where you are now, Oh, my God. Woo! Yeah, I believe I'm in the right house today. I said, I believe I'm in the right house today. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor! Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor! You don't know like I know what the Lord has done for me. You weren't there. You don't know when. You don't know where. And excuse me if I holler too loud. Excuse me if I shout too much. But when I look back over my... Come on, praise God in this place. Yeah! All right, all right. You can sit down. You can sit down. Have your seat if you can. Have your seat. I believe it's a good time for us to do a pew check because if you ain't never been here, tell them now. If you don't want nobody to shout on your roof, you don't want nobody to holler on your roof, you don't want nobody to scream on your roof, you might need to move. <laughs> because sometimes I get like the psalmist. like this all the time. <laughs> but we act like this most of the time. Ah, yeah. oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. That's why we don't have no programs. Right. <laughs> because praise will break out at any time in here. There he is none like you. None like you, none like you. Jesus, excellent is thy name. Come on, think about it today. I can't find nobody else. There's nobody like you. None like you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Jesus, excellent. Look at somebody say, he's excellent. He Thy name. I, 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 I hear this. I hear this. Oh, how I love Jesus. 
this church this morning. Come on. Oh, come on. Just a few things. I promise you we're going to get you out of here today. We have a lot to do in a short time to do it. But we do want to recognize our guests. We're so glad that you're here today. And, and uh, we pray God's blessings over you. We know we have many guests. We'll just ask that you slip your hand up and let us know that you're here to support. Oh, God bless you. Amen. 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 Come on, give the Lord a hand clap of praise. For our guests, listen, Sister Cross has donated some fans uh, for us, and we thank God for her uh, through her business, and so we all just have them. Now, here's, here's what I want to let you know. You don't need to take them home and, and, and let your children break the stick off of them and play drums with them. We, we're trying to keep them because we need, we need fans. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Thank God. We, we're working on some units. We're trying to get it cool off in here. We have 10 units. 10 units, but only two of them working, Jesus. And uh, <laughs> yes, God. And uh, even though we weren't born with central and heat, we didn't got used to it. And we, and when we don't have it, you know, because some of y'all up in age, you have hot flashes and you can't, can't take too much. Amen. Amen. Just keep on living if you don't have them. Amen. So, so the ushers... The ushers have them, Sister Cross, so the ushers have them. And so if you need a fan, tell these folks to bring you a fan. Well, I want you to pass out today. Amen. Amen. We're excited today. We're excited today. Just, just a few few things. Of course, uh, Sunday school is 11 uh, a.m. We have Sunday school at 11 a.m. Of course, uh, 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 we are live stream our worship service at 12, Bible study uh, on Wednesday night. Uh, we do that also. But this week, we'll be off the rest of the month, right? We'll be off the rest of the month, so we'll see you in August. 
Um, of course, our daily prayer conference call is at 6.30 a.m. every day, seven days a week. And uh, so we have a new number, and that will change uh, Wednesday. So that will change Wednesday, and we'll ask that you, uh, you can call the old number, and it'll give you the new one. And uh, if, if not, just check the Facebook and the website for the new number. We're excited uh, that this week we're going to our first International Full Gospel Baptist Church Conference. And so we thank God. Thank God for that. And we are excited and we are ready to go three days. We're just three days away. And so we want our parents, parents, if your children are going, we need you to meet in room 105. We have some important information to give to you. Also, uh, when we return, uh, well, the next week, uh, the 24th of, of July, we will be in concert in Montgomery, Alabama, uh, the choir and myself at the, uh, at the uh, New Life Baptist Church on Rosa Parks. Our very good friend, uh, Pastor uh, um, Thomas is, is the pastor, and so we're excited about that. That's at 7 o'clock, uh, July 24th, okay? Also, uh, we're having our uh, uh, quarter drive, uh, quarter drive, and, and uh, we'll thank God for our quarter drive, and it will continue on next Sunday before worship, and uh, we ask that you pick up, pick a youth uh, with a container and give them some quarter. The drive will end Sunday, July 26th. That's the fourth Sunday, all right? And so after three weeks, the teens, the high schoolers are still leading, all right? And so we thank God they clapping because they've been begging everybody they see. That's the only reason they need it, you know? All right, and on the 31st, listen, we're having a back-to-school bash lock-in. Listen, it's going to be off the chain. We have some special guests that will be coming in. Permission forms will be available today at the Welcome Center. And uh, so we know uh, we need to, we need you to get your forms and your fees in by next week, all right? And uh, so we know, we want to just tell you, we have to have, 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 to have a head count before. There will be no forms and no money taking that check-in. So we need you to... Um, do that, please, ma'am, please, sir. See our youth director for that, Sister Cherie Rollins. Also, uh, we're looking for donations uh, for school supplies. Uh, children, yeah, they got to go back to school. They got to get out of him. They got to leave. Parents are counting down in Jesus' name. I believe I need to have a praise break right now because they going back to school. <laughs> Jesus, yeah, they going back to school and yes, God. And so they got to leave. They got to leave us. And so... Yeah. <laughs> and so we'll be accepting uh, school supplies, school hygiene and cleaning supplies will be accepted. And so that's what we want to do. All right. I think that's all I had today. Listen, let me let me tell you, that your, those of you that are going to New Orleans, the bus is leaving at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. We pulling off. All right. So you can't get here at 859. With your with your fried chicken and what you're going to eat on the bus. We need you to be here in time, and what we'll do, we'll leave our cars here uh, uh, down below the bar parking lot so we won't be in anybody's way, and, and uh, they'll be fine uh, while we are uh, going. I will meet you there. I, I, I will be working, and then I'll come uh, Thursday, and I'll, well, I'll, see, I'll see y'all yeah, see y'all Thursday morning sometime. And uh, so we have many activities planned. Listen, we do want to pray for the uh, Stallworth Archibald family who uh, Brother Greg Stallworth went home to be with the Lord uh, on the other day and so we're praying for his wife Annette and his children uh, two girls and son and we're just praying for the entire family tentatively the funeral will be Saturday uh, I don't know what time yet but I'll get that word out to you I will be preaching probably we need the choir and, uh, and, and all of you that, that will can and will please be in prayer for them all right, I think that is it. At this time, uh, we will ask that you prepare your hearts and your mind to give unto the Lord that which he has given unto us. And uh, God loves what kind of giver? A cheerful. And so uh, we uh, give to God, not because he's broke, but we give to God out of obedience to him. And that his word is true. His word says that he will open up the windows of heaven, pour you out a blessing that you don't even have room enough to receive. And I don't know about you. I need a blessing from the Lord. Amen. And I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about I just need him. I need him to bless me however he want to bless me. And so we'll, 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 uh, we, that goes with our obedience. And so we're going to ask the officers and the ushers come after that. Uh, the choir will give us a ministry in music. Then we will do our deacons, appointments, ordination, and uh, prayer. And we'll preach 
and we'll go home. We're still going to do what we need to do in 90 minutes. Amen? Amen. Amen. All right. Deacon Pruitt is going to come and lead us in prayer. Father God, we come this morning to say thank you. Thank you for all that you're doing. Thank you for your many blessings. Father, we ask that you would bless this awesome blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we just want to tell you that we love you and we praise you. We give you all the honor because without you, we wouldn't be nothing. Amen. Hold on, hold on. Before we take up the offering, I'm sorry. Uh, we had two, two, two sweet ladies got baptized this morning. Little sister Linton and... Uh, Little Sister Rogers, amen. Come on, give God praise for that. And come on. I to give you me. And all right, Rogers, and we got your first Bible for you, amen. And I think David wants to get a picture because I'm going to have something like that. tight. I like her. All right. At this time, let us stand on my left and my right as we give unto the Lord that which he has given unto us. The ushers will direct you around as you give your tithe and your offering unto the Lord. Let us not forget that we have online giving. You can go, OB, you can go to obctuscaloosa.org, obctuscaloosa.org. At this time, put your information in. You will get a, a confirmation email. Thank you so very much. The choir will lead us as you come.
suggest that if you park or you block that little driveway, that little gravel road out there, there's about six or seven cars out there that's blocked the driveway. And then they came over here and asked nice, they just slip on out the door and move your car right now in the name of Jesus. Ain't nobody going to see that. There's one. We got five more, six more, six more, six more. We want to get these cars and we'll wait on you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Listen, at this time, we want to prepare our hearts and our mind. I do want to say, let me, let me make this clear for some of you all that don't understand. This is a Baptist church, and we choose to be in a fellowship 
but the fellowship don't tell us what to do. Right? Because what they do cross town is what they do cross town. I didn't teach these men what the full gospel believe. I taught them what the Baptists believe. The book that I taught these men out of was what Baptists believe. All right? That's what we used. All right? That's, that has been our guide and it will continue to be our guide. The reason why it's not important for them to know all the ins and out of the fellowship is because it's a fellowship. It's not a denomination. We are Baptists, right? And so these deacons will not be full gospel deacons. They will be Baptist deacons, right? And so I just thought I need to say that and get that clear because some of you, you know, talking to folk across town that's members of Cornerstone and talking about what they deacons we don't, we don't we, we over here right and what we do every man do what he need to do in his own house alright and, and I love Ernest Palmer he's my state bishop but he don't run nothing over here now amen and so the fellowship is a fellowship and who's to say that the fellowship gonna still be a fellowship a hundred years from now but now the church will still be here. And so it's important for us to start right. I'm going to ask uh, that uh, Deacon Pruitt come and join me. Uh, Deacon Braggs come and join me. Deacon uh, Murphy come and join me. These men are already deacons. And uh, they're going to help me today with these candidates. I want to say to these men, because you are the first set of deacons of this church, what you do and how you do it, you will set the bar. And I think for too long, deacons were told that their job is to look out for the church. And to some extent, that is true. But the flip side to that is, none of these men have an office in this church. I have an office because they are supposed to work out of my office. Y'all ain't got to say amen. I know, I'm, I know I'm talking good. I know I'm talking good. And so the Bible is specific, specific about the qualifications of a deacon. One thing that we miss is that he says, look out among you and find seven men full of the Holy Spirit. Now, they ain't perfect. He didn't say, look out among you, find seven men that were perfect. He says, find seven men that's full of the Holy Spirit. And I believe that even though these men have done some things in their past, I believe at this moment and at this time in their lives that they are ready. <clears throat> Not only are they ready, they're willing and they're able to help in the Lord's church. I have watched all of these men. The Bible says, make sure they got good report. In other words, the church folk can't be the only one that talk good about them. What they don't know on their job, I done talked to somebody on each and every one of their jobs and say, tell me about this man, tell me about this man, because that's what the Bible says we're supposed to do, all right? And so this is merely a ceremony. I believe being a deacon is a calling because everybody can't do this work. Being a deacon only means that you are a servant and that you are here to serve God and you're here to serve the people, all right? And so at this time, I want these candidates to come. I'm going to call them by name. Brother Lance Word.
Brother Cedric Tucker. Brother Nicholas Kerr. Brother Gerald Antonio Moore. That's what they put on your certificate. I'm just reading what they put on it. Brother Jonah Murphy Jr., he doesn't need one, but I'll give him one anyway. He already. Brother David C. Grant Jr. And last but certainly not least, Brother Willie Matthew Walker. You guys remain standing. Sister Church, come with your presentation at this time. What I want you to do, I want y'all men to come and stand in front. Y'all men come and stand in front. I want your wives to get behind you. No, y'all turn around this way. Y'all turn to me. Turn to me. Turn to me. Y'all turn to me. Y'all turn to me. I want your wives to get behind you. Sister Tucker, come on. Come on, Sister Church. And with your presentation, we'll be done in a minute. We're going to... Good afternoon. I stand as part of the executive board and we just want to give you just a little token of uh, appreciation for number one. Um, I don't mean to pick and choose, but there are two people here that are very special to me. Most of you don't know, but I have been dealing with the illness. And last week this time, I couldn't even move or walk. So it is a blessing that I stand before you today. The two special people I'm gonna call out, and I'm not saying all of you guys are special, but these two people, Paul, they check, they check on me. I just wanna say thank you. Nicholas and his wife Shawty and BJ and Erica. All right. She has a presentation. She has gone out and got all of us ties. And they, we got some Ralph Lauren ties. And they monogram, child. We got OBC on them. Amen. So we thank God for, for them. these men to kneel at the altar. Because if you're going to do this work, this is where you're going to do your homework. I want these wives to come behind their husband. I want to say to these wives, even though we're not ordaining you, you are part of them. I want to say, and hear me when I say this, 
the work that he, you can continue to play this little song. The work that these men have been called to do. Sorry to make myself clear. We only getting deep. Y'all stand on that. Y'all just can't get on. He going to stay? Okay, Deke said he going to stay down there. He must, he must need something from God. The work that they are, they are about to embark on is a special work. Everybody cannot do this work. Don't make them choose you and their work with the Lord. Did y'all hear what I said, ladies? Do not, it's unfair to make them choose you or the church. Because what they have been called to do, this work will keep them up late at night. Because guess what? They have to help me pastor all these folks. And so as you stand behind them, 